AIV stands for Acoustically Induced Vibrations. These vibrations are generated by a gaseous flow passing through a pressure reducing device such as PSVs, valves, and or orifices. And AIV induces a high frequency broadband excitation um, that is typically over a range between 500 to 2000, 2500 hertz. Due to this high frequency, uh, the time to failure is often quite short, being a matter of minutes, hours, or days. AIV mechanics are as follows, so pressure reducing devices lead to an increased uh, lead to increased pressure fluctuations within the pipe, which give rise to a vibrational response of the pipe wall. The vibrational makeup of AIV consists of non-propagating fluctuating wall pressures induced by turbulence causing an unsteady loading on the wall surface which in turn radiates noise. Propagating plane waves that travel through the system. And propagating higher order acoustic modes that excite the circumferential modes of the piping, also known as the flexural or breathing modes of the pipe. These latter fluctuations are the most efficient excitation source and therefore the most problematic. Um, these acoustic modes are also traveling modes that interact only with the circumferential structural modes. AIV generates the high tonal noise levels through the high velocity fluid impingement on the pipe wall alongside turbulent mixing and shock waves downstream of a flow restriction. The severity of AIV is a function of the pressure drop and gas mass flow rate passing through the flow restriction. As mentioned earlier, fatigue is commonly a problem at welded locations. For that reason, AIV primarily causes failure at nearby welds, including welded supports, branch connections, and other such fittings. AIV is of particular concern to safety lines due to high pressure reducing devices, a failure of which is often severe for plant production.